Oh, sorry. Gatsby, what happened? He's really, really hurting. Gatsby hurt his leg. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it's definitely that leg. I noticed his arm was kind of like stuck and he couldn't move it at all and it was kind of like frozen to his body. I tried to like pick him up and that made him scream even louder. Are you okay? I'm worried about you, you know? I have ice pack. I'll wrap it in a towel for you. Where does it hurt? Do you, can you tell me? He's like, I want to look away. I'll just hold it like this. Good boy. Good boy. It's cold, yeah? Stay there, okay? I don't know since I wasn't there and I didn't see it, but um, I had just given this to him and he was like all excited. And then like, it was like five minutes later, I heard a scream in the office and I was like, what? I think what he did was he probably like stepped on it and then it slid down and that's why there's still treats inside. Is that what happened, Gatsby? Oh, Gatsby, you're still hiding here? It's like 11 o'clock. Are you okay? Sorry you feel so sore. And you have to hide in the bathroom. You don't have to, you know. You make me feel so sad. The next day, he's for sure like really hurting. It's like putting no pressure on that leg. We're gonna go to the vet and see what's going on. Hopefully it's just like a sprain or something. So um, right now the protocol for vets is that we have to stay in the car. We just call them on the phone, they pick up the dog from the car, take the dog inside, and then they do a speakerphone during the examination while we stay in the car. We're just waiting for Gatsby to get picked up. Gatsby, you're gonna feel better, hopefully soon. Hopefully it's just a sprain because then that's, you just need to rest. Take him out of the car? Oh, yeah. oh okay. Gotta wait for the call from the, um, the vet. I just hate it when he screams. It just makes me really sad, so. The vet basically said that she examined Gatsby very well um, and it was very hard to figure out where the pain was coming from. She says that usually dogs who scream really loud um, have pain coming around their neck, which Gatsby didn't have. He had a very specific area. Um, she felt his bones. She said that the bones were totally fine and he didn't seem to show any pain from that. But she said that there was some kind of pain on the inside part of his elbow. And she said that's mostly muscle there. So she does think that he must have twisted it or sprained it in some way. Oh, you have a little band-aid, Gatsby. <laughs> Good today. So they gave him some anti-inflammatories. The good news is that it's just muscle. You're a good boy, Gatsby. He looks happy already, even though he didn't even get his medication. Yet. You have to give it with food. I think he ate it already. Oh, Gatsby, you had me so stressed out. They said that he has to keep it, take it easy for the next week or so. Anyway, that's what we've been up to today. Hopefully you guys are doing well. He's still kind of like, oh, I don't like this. I'm in pain. We got to do stuff to make you feel better, Gatsby. So soft. Like, oh my gosh. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. And now there's something. Shimmer on our skin 
relax a little bit more. It's time to do another ukulele cover, try to figure out what song I'm playing. Here it goes. Okay, today's the last day, I think. I think I can get this done. I got my trusty Sour Patch Kids here, my favorite candy. Okay, let's get started. Uh, is it here? Yeah. This looks like it has some kind of greenish color. Is it this right here? Oh, it was. <laughs> Just gotta study these really carefully. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Oh, eight. Seven. Six. It's gotta be this one. Okay, five. It doesn't go here? Okay. Three, two pieces left. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. There it is. The final piece! The final piece! Yay! We did it! Gotta stop the clock. 15 hours and 15 minutes. Check it out, the puzzle is done! If I was to compare these two puzzles, I would say that the harder one was definitely this one over here with Gatsby and his friends. This one took 14 hours to complete. By the way, these puzzles are pretty big. And as I mentioned before, it's a lot easier if you go out and buy a foam core board. You can move the puzzle away very easily and place it back when you need to work on it. These puzzles are 1,000 pieces. They turned out so nice. These puzzles are so great. I'm so happy with them. You can turn on some music, just kind of like meditatively just do the puzzle. You can do it with your family at home or your roommate. It can last you a really long time too, as long as you just do a little bit at a time and just enjoy it. These puzzles just took me under 30 hours to do. That's like more than a full day. <laughs> a puzzling. When you complete your puzzle, make sure to tag me, hashtag Corgi on Fleet. You might get featured at the end of the vlog. And they are available to purchase now. And so this is our summer merchandise launch. The puzzles, as well as a restock of the Japanese Corgi t-shirts right over here. This is Corgi in Japanese. They are super, super, super limited quantities. And so if you enjoy the content and want to support Gatsby and me, this is one great way to do it while you get to enjoy a happy smiling corgi puzzle. So make sure to go to corgionfleek.com at the end of the vlog. Now let's continue on with the day. Just an update on Gatsby. He's hiding in the bathroom. Yeah? You don't have to do that Gatsby. Just relax, okay? So today is chest day for our at-home gym. They just made an announcement for the Bay Area that um, gyms are scheduled to reopen mid-August. <laughs> so it's going to be quite a while. I might have to get some more gym equipment because that's like three months away and we've been in quarantine for three months, so halfway through. That's a long time. 
It's time for us to start the chest workout. Okay, got a good chest workout in. What do you think, Gatsby? How are you feeling? You feeling better? Hmm? Sweet Cordy? Here's a quick look at my aquarium. This guy is getting so big, he's like folding backwards. Ugh, I might have to cut him soon. I gotta look up how to do it. I think you just take scissors and then cut it off, and then I'll just have like a really big piece, so I'll have to give it to my friend. It's already pushing against the glass there, and this glass needs to be cleaned. <laughs> Yeah, fishies, you agree? It's time for us to make some dinner now. Today for dinner, we are gonna be making broccoli delight, which I saw on the YouTube channel Bon Appetit, which I was like, that looks pretty good. We're gonna shave the stem, because you wanna keep most of the stem. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit, just the woody part. She said you wanna make basically broccoli spears, so you wanna make it really long. Oh, and look who's here! Who came out of hiding? Do you like the broccoli stem? Here. Here you go. So, you want to get oil over the whole thing. She says you want to put the cut side down. So, that really fast. You want to season it with some salt, some pepper. She put a little bit of olive oil over it. Okay, so we let it cook for about four to five minutes using white medium cheddar. One is four ounces. And what you want to do is you just want to crumble it. Crumble it into like half inch pieces. There we go. You want them to be brown. That's pretty brown. Okay, the next step is we want to toss them again. This time flipping it over. So I like crispy broccoli. Okay. That was done. You just take the cheese and you sprinkle that on top. It should melt almost immediately. So then we're gonna squeeze lemon juice on top. She said you wanna add some crushed red pepper that'll make it kinda like a pizza. And that is it, it is done. Take off some cheesy broccoli. So it should be kind of like cheesy and crispy. Let's see. Mmm! The cheesy part with the broccoli. Oh, and it's like a little bit spicy because of the um, crushed red pepper. No, no, it's so good. It is so good. Mm. If you want the recipe, I'll put it in the description below. I'd have to give this recipe like a nine and a half out of 10. It's really good. And have to say, that was a delight. So now that we're done with dinner, I thought that we would play a new game that I like to call, Guess the Movie That Ryan Draws. I'm gonna play with Sean because we haven't seen him in a while, right? We've gotta see how Sean's doing. And then one for you guys to figure out. Set a timer for one minute. Okay, well, so we'll draw like the rock here. Okay, he has like huge muscles. Uh, and then we have Kevin Hart. I don't even know what his character is called. And then he had like his little hat thing. Ugh, the colors are gonna be so off. Oh, she had like orangey hair? Okay, so we'll give her orangey hair. Like so. No! No! That was so short! He's not gonna get it from this. This is not much that I drew. I didn't even draw Jack Black. Hey, Sean! <laughs> Take a very good look at the details. Okay, here goes. See, look there. <laughs> and look there. Okay, do you have a guess? Uh, Rocky? No! <laughs> It's like okay. a session where he goes to the top of the No, scene. no, but but you have to look over here and then and then right over here. Person with orange hair, person with a hat, and then a strong person? Yes. And there is a, supposed to be a fat person. Yes, you know. It was supposed to be Jumanji. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that was kind of my bad because 
I didn't realize the clock goes that fast. The next movie I'm gonna draw is Inception. I, how am I supposed to draw this? I don't even- Okay, so I have to draw like someone sleeping, right? Someone is like sleeping. Okay, so he's sleeping on the ground and okay, he's dreaming, right? And this is gonna be the big dream. And then the buildings are like going upside down. There's Ellen Page here. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't even know what else happens. There's like an elevator. This is never gonna work. He's never gonna get this. This is so hard. And then they're like in Paris. I can't draw the Eiffel Tower. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was so bad. Just look very carefully. Okay, here it goes. Take a look from the bottom here. Okay. Okay, take a good look. Someone's dreaming of... Is it like Inception? You got it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you got it! I got it because of the building. Yes, the building sideways. Okay, thanks, Sean, for joining yeah. us. It's good seeing you. Bye. Bye. Now it is your guys' turn to guess the movie that I draw. Okay, go. Uh, okay, okay, so there's this thing here. Um, oh, and then there's, there is there's this. Okay, there it is, that's the drawing! <laughs> what movie did I just draw here? In the comments below, write it down and let me know what your guess is. We'll see if you're correct. Thank you so much for watching today's video. The time is now. If you want to get one of the puzzles or the Corgi on Fleek Japanese t-shirt, everything is live right now on the store. As usual, they are very limited quantities just because it's just me. I'm the only one who does all of this. I'm not like a big store or anything. If you love the videos, if you want to support the channel by grabbing some Gatsby merchandise. Of course, as always, please only purchase something if you have the means to at the moment. If you don't, just watching the video to the end always helps our channel. Gatsby and I really appreciate all of your support and thank you so much for watching the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Good night. Good night, Gatsby. Hey, Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Gatsby, guess what? Today is a special day because I finished my diet and fitness program. Yay, Gatsby! Wait.